uh, do our first paella in full. Got to put my hat on. Welcome to Project Paella. We're going to do a holiday paella. And our holiday paella will actually be number 111. And we're going to focus on the prep this time. I'm going to kind of show you how exactly we're going to do prep. So let's get started. This is the cutting board that I'll be using and we'll uh, kind of go through the meat part. We'll also be doing um, ajo de mariscos, which is a garlic uh, tapa. So I'm going to put this and we'll cut this later. And that will be a, um, a tapa that we'll, we'll work on in a little bit. So this, this is the clams we are going to uh, use for the paella. They're still alive. Yeah, they are still alive. So that's, we'll put that aside. Get them out of the way. We don't have to actually do anything with them. We just bought them. Here is the um, chancho or the pork. So we'll cut that first. I, we actually had this from a different dish and um, they gave it to me. It's still a little bit, it's thawed out a little bit, but a little bit frozen. I like it that way. Well, that's great, buddy. So we'll go ahead and cut this, get my cutting tools. So for cutting for paella, what we want to do is like one inch cubes or one inch um, type of items. Items, but uh, so that's, we need to cut that some more. All right, just like that, we'll have a, a prep bowl. We'll put all this stuff in. And I'm gonna pre-cook this, so I'm gonna put this over here. So we basically just cut all this. I like to cut down first. We'll cut across, again, just one inch. We're gonna pre-cook this so that everything is good in the paella. So this is prep, I'm just doing the prep. So again, this is uh, maybe about a pound and a half of pork. And we have a couple hours before we'll actually be cooking our paella, so this should be thawed by then. Cutting into cubes will actually help that thawing process. So again, look at, so that's like one inch by one inch. See that? One inch by one inch or so. Right, Sergio? How are you doing, buddy? I am doing the prep. So we're going to use both uh, this for the tapa, okay. the garlic and yeah. the shrimp. Okay. And Wait, I, no, these are not alive. Their heads are chopped off. They, yeah, that is true. They're that, not alive. that sucks. They just chopped their heads off. Oh, right. that was hurt. They scream when that happens, too. <laughs> like, <they're sh> <laughs> <laughs> you never seen that happen? No, I never what? saw somebody cut a shrimp's head off. Poor shrimp. It's, it's like a horror movie when it happens. <laughs> so this is how you, you open your shrimp, buddy. Okay, you grab it like this. Yeah. You hold it and you peel it back mm -hmm. like that and peel it around. And then you can grab it from the bottom. Wait, so you technically take off the shell or whatever? Yep, and you squeeze it from the, once you take a little bit of the top off. This one doesn't have the cut in the back. If, the cut in the, if there's a cut in the back, you can usually grab them here and they'll just split right out. But this doesn't have that cut. So we got to do a little bit at the top. And then we squeeze the bottom, and the rest comes out. Wait, so right? what do the tails do? If the they're tails alive? are we can put the tails in the um, in the broth that we're making. No, I know, but what do the tails help them do in the oh, wild? Oh, it helps them swim away. So if they're like stuck on the ground or not, and somebody comes along to try to eat them. We're 
rinsing off our. Yeah, yeah. We're rinsing off our trench. Did you like to see our outside view? And me? There's that stuff. Water! 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 Water is ready for any scraps that fall. Right, buddy? Okay, so here, here over here, we're going to take about a pound. Stair kill. We're going to take about a pound of this stuff for our, I think that's about it, right there. And we are, you know what we're doing? Look, hey. look what I'm doing. Yeah, but you know what we're doing over here. Look what I'm doing. Yeah, so Sergio. Hey, big guy. Hey, this is kind of like this. There we go. Okay. So we want to cut these into, these are pretty big shrimp. We want to cut these into like thirds. That's for the shrimp in garlic dish, top of that we're going to make. So, we'll go like this. Yeah, they're not going to come back. Okay, so we have our shrimp for the paella. We have our shrimp for our tapa. I'm going to put those aside. Put these over here. All right, there we go. So that's, now we're ready to do other things. So we got our other shrimp. We're gonna use the headed shrimp. We're gonna fry a bunch of these for um, garnish on top. So it'll look, look kind of cool. The other thing that we have going. Yeah. So we'll have this. Not exactly. So we'll put that aside. Oh, here's our other shrimp. You want to see this? This is really cool. Watch. This is this is freshwater shrimp. After this, this not, after this, can I? Go? You want to do your? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the veggies in a second. Okay. We have to thaw these out. What so, is this? These are what's called freshwater oh. shrimp. Yeah. Hey, I told you not to be playing with knives. Shrimp? No playing with knives. <gasps> Look at those. That one lost the eye, Rip. Yeah. You know, maybe we need to thaw these Wait, a little bit. Wait, why are those ones way bigger? <coughs> hmm? Why are those ones way bigger? Um, these are freshwater shrimp, and they're going to go on top of our, our paella. Can okay? I see? Can there I... we go. You like them? Yes, big whiskers. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they're cool. All right, so how many do you think we need? We need... 10,000. Well, Wait, why is this thing so Why is this thing so hard? 10, 11. Like, That's... Probably enough. We'll put one for Dad, everybody. Why are these? Because that's what we're gonna put it in. We're gonna put it in the pie like that. We're gonna, they're gonna be laid out like that. Okay. And so what we're gonna do is fry that up first. Okay. I got a fin. I got a pineapple. Oh, pineapple fin. So what we're do is we'll put these in. Hey, Leo, a bowl. I have ten thousand arms. I, I don't want to eat. Them. I don't want to eat one of those. Uh -uh. No, I know, but we have. Christmas theme. We're going to do a lot more peas than usual just to get a nice green color. That's quite a bit. So we'll save the rest of this. And there we go. Put those aside. And next step, we've pretty much prepped all our meat, I think. So now we do our tomatoes. So I usually peel tomatoes. Just like that.
these in half, so they're exposed like that. And then we can what we do is we wash those seeds out. You want the seeds. a green and a yellow and an orange but today we'll do all red so holiday holiday uh, spirit at Christmas time we're taking out the core washing this out mm -hmm. prepped. Okay. Here you go, Boulder. All right. So now what we want to do is the onions. That's off to the side now. Onions, onions, onions. So I usually cook this a certain, or not cook, we cut this a certain way so we don't cry. I cut down here and then we throw that out and I end up peeling, peeling back this onion from the sides here. Get this get a nice, don't, don't try to cut it with this tough uh, skin. There we go. So that's it. That one is ready to be cut just like that. I'll get this one ready. Get it cut. Make sure you keep your hands away from the knife. So watch, I'm keeping my hands away. And you'll see here, let's see, we'll try to peel off this one here. We're gonna grab one of these edges. Cutting like little spines all around. So I'm cutting through right there, and then all we do is we just cut like that. I can sometimes cut a piece and it'll stick to my knife, and I'll just cut it like that. That way I don't have to clean it. And there we go. And then we'll do one more, and then stop. Oh, that's it. We're done. That one. have to open this. That's all we gotta do. Open this thing. There you go. It's all ready to go. Got our onions ready to go. Lucita, como estas, Lucita? Here you go, buddy. Es un camarones de Ecuador. Okay. All right. 
Yep. Yeah. Here we go. Now we're gonna do this for the tapa. The tapa. Tapa, tapa, tapa. Mira, mi coro. Sí, me tiene que pesar hacer mi tamal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Necesito por tu tamale, ¿eh? No me cae el pelo. Yeah. No quiere molido porque ahí hay. Tiene que ser este chiquito, ¿no? Chiquito? Cuadradito. No, este es, es, es por uh, uh, ajo de mariscos. Mm. Allá. So we got one, so I usually like to cut them so they're like that. Sometimes you can just cut them and then crush them a little bit and then the, the stuff will come right off. garlic we'll use that those two things and this goes to our other dish and then we have our salt and now we got to do our our saffron here's our saffron it's called Spanish saffron from Trader Joe's so we end up having to actually uh, toast this so what we want to do is open that baby up and get that cork off and that's our saffron we're going to toast that and i'm going to show you that in a second here so what we'll do is make a little tray for it first uh, using tin foil have a tray go like that and kind of do it the other way so there's no edges of saffron can get under go like that see what we're doing the back side and then we flip it over and now we have a very clear no edges for saffron to get into so we'll kind of turn it like this and then we'll put it in our toaster so there's a the saffron kind of pull it out spread it around a little bit like this so there we go there we go it's not a lot of saffron but it's it's effective so here we go okay all right so we will now um, toast it. I'm going to show that in a second. All right, here we go. Putting saffron in the toaster. We got a hot toaster. Let it go for a couple minutes. And what we want to do is put that in our little tray and you want to keep a good eye on it here. Let it kind of sit there and we keep watching it very closely. You get nice color to it. This burner is going pretty good there. Yeah, I was gonna make something. Okay, so that's a little bit more burgundy again. Just gonna get a little, a little uh, more uh, dark, and that's all we need. A little toasting. Okay, so now we are going to do the broth, and all we do is just put our shells from our shrimp, and we open up our chicken broth and pour that in there. And turn this on. Turn our Flame on high for the moment, because that's got to cook for, we let it cook for an hour or so. We have friends coming around 6.30, and it's 
5.30 right now, so this is perfect time. I think we'll just do two, maybe three, do three. And uh, I just like to get it to a little bit of a boil and then slow cook it. So that's two. And we'll do, I think maybe we'll do four cups of rice today, so. There we are. Okay, so I put these in our thing. And what we'll end up doing with our saffron is we'll, we'll add that with um, a cup of this broth. Because I don't know how much, some people actually put the saffron in the broth, but I'm not going to do that because I don't know how much I'm going to use. And so we'll put the saffron in, we'll take one cup and uh, we'll put that in the pie. We'll see that in a few minutes. So anyway, that's, that's going, we'll let that go and we'll put everything out. Thank you.